Well, a tiny locksmith shop on Chicago's north side is gaining attention, not for key making, <laughs> but the artwork now covering the walls. Aaron joins us now with that story. Yeah, you know, we all have something that drives us at a deeper level, right? And that makes us feel alive and present. So for some of us, it's on full display, but for others, it remains locked away, as it did for Joseph Gruber for nearly 60 years. When they walk by here, you know, <laughs> They said, hey, the locksmith. For 58 years. That was the locksmith. <laughs> you know, I, I've been here so long. Joseph Gruber has stood here. Cutting keys, helping others open what was once locked. The key part's all right. I, it's my living. His brother's a locksmith and both his nephews. But this story isn't about a family business as much as it is what Joseph Gruber kept under lock and key all these years. And I've got some pieces I made upstairs in my 30, you know, when I was 32. It's, it's rather, rather strange that nobody's ever seen it. A secret passion for drawing and the hundreds of pieces of art the locksmith turned out in private over the last four decades. I, I look at it and I say, I, I can't believe I did these. A passion he quietly worked on, unbeknownst to the customers behind the counter. It's a, it's a nice feeling. I mean, you're unaware of anything that's going on. Until one day, two years ago, Gruber got a feeling it was time. Well, they should know what I'm about. There's more in me than, uh, than cutting keys. And with that, began hanging his hidden passion from every corner of the shop. And this is all new work we've done probably in the last two years. The majority, I mean, this, some of this has been done two weeks ago. Covering the display cases, the walls, and everything in between. They can't teach you to be creative. They, they can teach you how to paint, they can teach you how to look, but they, they, they can't teach you how to be you. Being you is you. It takes vulnerability to be truly seen not for who others think we should be, but who we are at heart. See what you want to see, and you miss a lot. The kind of bravery only found by turning the key to reveal our true selves. The response, you know, is, is wonderful. And they're all surprised what they see. And for the first time in over 50 years, Joseph Gruber added a new sign to the outside of his shop, Art Gallery. People come and get a key made and they walk out with a piece of artwork. Proving it's never too late to unlock something beautiful, regardless of how long it's been tucked away. And Joseph Gruber, he isn't sure how much longer he's going to keep his doors open, but he told me he hopes to sell every last mm. piece of artwork before he closes for good, which they're is pretty beautiful. cool. Yeah. yeah, they're very cool. And I just love how he just decided the last bit of his life, like, let's just put this out there. And yes. see, there you go. see where it goes. All right, I love it. Thank Thanks. you, Aaron.